Many of you are fully aware of the heat waves that have been going on worldwide. Well, the Arctic has not been spared. And this report came out August 2nd, 2019. 11 billion tons of ice melted in Greenland in just one day. That is just absolutely outrageous. And this came out on CBS News. And that is unimaginable for that kind of ice to melt in one day. But they're going through the heat wave. It has moved to Greenland and the Arctic. Europe's historic heat wave has moved to Greenland melting its ice sheets at dramatic rates. 11 billion tons of ice melted across the country on Wednesday alone. Its biggest melt this season. And this thing is not a one-day thing, okay? It's not a one-day event. It has not been a one-day event anywhere, not even here in the U.S. We've had four days in a row, I think right now, um, the longest was six days in a row for us in the 90s. So this is not a one and done thing at all. While Greenland's ice sheets usually melt during the summer, record temperatures have meant a longer and more dramatic melt season. As sea levels rise globally, so do the likelihood of extreme weather events and coastal flooding. Roughly 197 billion tons of ice from Greenland melted into the Atlantic in July. So they are saying that uh, that's about 36% more than scientists expect in an average year. So we're already above average in 2019. Wow. Ooh, man, that must be dramatic to watch too. All that ice just falling apart and melting. So the heat wave has certainly contributed to the very high numbers we saw yesterday and the day before. So you see, this is not a one-day event. The melt area has also been a lot bigger when the warm air mass from Europe arrived. It has been a long period of warm and dry weather since May and following a dry winter. So it's a little extra push rather than the main cause of the very high ice loss we've observed. All right, so according to data from the Polar Portal, nearly 60% of the ice sheet expected at least one milliliter, a millimeter, I'm sorry, of melt at the surface Wednesday. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty dramatic there. Absolutely. All right, so Last week, Europe experienced life-threatening heat wave with France, Germany, Belgium, and the Netherlands, and Britain, all hitting record temperatures 100 degrees Fahrenheit in London, 109 in Paris, as the heat wave moved onto the Arctic and Greenland. Arctic sea ice is reaching new record low levels. Yeah, so they're staying the same thing they've been saying before, that July um, may be the hottest month recorded in history, which I do believe. <laughs> I definitely believe that. But there's a video here that I would like to play for you from CBS News.
Oh, maybe they don't have it out here anymore. It's not playing. Okay, they may not have it out here anymore, y'all. It, it definitely should have played. Tapped on it enough. All right, so let's take a look, see if this one will play. They said that footage watch from yesterday. That's from yesterday. All right. That is footage from yesterday. All right. All right. Here's another one here. Let's see if we can get this one to play. Okay, this is not playing either. Okay, CBS must have taken those off. So, I guess that is very dramatic. So, 82% of Iceland's surface is covered in ice. The country is home to the second biggest ice sheet in the world, next to Antarctica. These two ice masses combined hold enough frozen water to raise global sea levels by 65 meters if they were to suddenly melt. You know, I, I can't see, um, you know, a lot of big land masses being impacted. We're all going to be impacted globally, but... In my opinion, things like these small islands, I think it will be more devastating for them because if you look at them, the whole thing is surrounded by water. I can see it being more devastating to them than us here in the U.S., but I do agree. You know, number one, the ocean is a lot warmer now, and number two, that is going to intensify storms and flooding and everything that we're seeing now. I mean, it will only get worse if the sea level rises. I do agree with that. But that's a lot of damn ice melting, y'all. And we're not even, we're just getting into August. And August <laughs> can be just as bad as July, sometimes worse in some cases. But we have seen so much oppressive heat just here in the United States and just reading about how bad it was over in Europe. In fact, I have a couple of uh, subscribers from Europe that wrote to me telling me how bad it was. It was pretty bad for them. And you got to also factor in they don't have air conditioning in the homes over there like we do here. You know, there is no central air <laughs> in homes all across Europe. It's just not there. That's why when you look at that footage of them going out of their homes and getting in water or just trying to find a cool place to go, that's real. That's real. There are very few places in Europe that have air conditioning because temperatures usually don't soar up that high. But... This is the new norm for us all over the globe. And in my opinion, these heat waves are going to become more intense and they're going to be longer lasting. But this is, this is the way it is. 
everybody. But please tell me what you think. 11 billion tons melted in just one day. Wow. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.